idea what to expect, and I'm not wearing my glasses, so I can't see anything <laughs> yeah. that is happening in the comments. But luckily, I don't need to because Nick is running this show. This was all Nick's idea. So basically, you guys have submitted questions, and uh, we're going to play Stump the Odyssey story, which you probably will. Be prepared for the fact that you are going to stump me. Hardcore going to stump me. Here. Well, you've, while we're you've getting been, started, You've been here. preparing for the possibility that you might be stumped. <laughs> yes, I have been. It's been very... It's been weighing on her. I feel a it's little nervous. It's been weighing on her I very do. I much. I feel a little nervous. And I'm really excited because I feel like you guys are going to come up with really interesting questions, things that like you don't think of automatically. So we're going to give it a few minutes to give everybody time to come in. Hi! It's so good to see you. This was all Nick's idea. Hey, good job, babe. <laughs> so this is going to be fun. I have a feeling... Oh, little Oz Disco to get us started. I have a feeling this is going to be maybe maybe the start of a series. Maybe we could do like... Maybe we could do more than one of these. That would be fun. But you guys submitted questions. I have not looked at any of the questions. So I have she tried. No idea. I tried oh, to she tried. I was like, so... Uh she tried to get her daughter to spill <laughs> the beans to me, to, to, to her. She tried to look over my screen as I was furiously researching these, like, hyper-obscure... <laughs> <laughs> bits I was like, of so, Oz so, trivia. So what are they, so what are they asking? What are <laughs> yeah. They, what are they, what she was trying to asking? ploy me with smooches. <laughs> so, girl, oh my god, I'm hoping my question will stump you. It was so hard to think of something. I, You know, and yeah, I understand that because we've gone over so many topics. I feel like you guys have asked so many great questions already that I've already answered yeah, for you. Yeah, true. That I bet it was hard to come up with it things was that difficult. we haven't talked about. It was difficult. But, you know, don't and I, I fully expect to not know everything. You guys should know that I don't know every single thing off the top of my head. I do a lot of research about topics that you guys ask me that I'm not sure about. So this is, can we lower that? That's really loud. So I feel like I'm constantly doing more research to answer your questions. And it's so, it helps me to learn and to remember things better. So I'm excited. You guys literally give me Dorothy Scarecrow energy, yay! <laughs> My favorite. Was The Wizard of Oz originally a book? It was. It was a series of books, 14 to be exact, by L. Frank Baum. And there are many more after that. There's actually 50 canon books at this point. Um, I finally finished that paper. Oh, good. I'd love to read it. Send it my way. So we're going to give it, like, what? One or two more minutes and then get sure. started? Yeah. Um, so basically what we're doing here, if you're just coming in, we're doing trivia night. You guys submitted questions and y'all are going to try to stump me. And as you can see, Nick made this whole slideshow thing. It's crazy. This thing's going to be insane. So yeah, really exciting. Yeah, we're starting off easy. So um, I'll explain this again when we get started. But um, Am I hurting you? No, 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 it's fine. <laughs> uh, we have 25 questions. 22 of them are Oz related, and then I threw in a couple questions from my own fandom. Uh, Oz, Oz adjacent questions, I'll call it. Uh, the, the Oz questions I attempted to um, put in the order of their difficulty, and by that I mean the difficulty that I think Tori will have with answering them. Um, in the time that we've known each other, I've, I've overheard her on her shows, I've listened to her talking about Oz, and so I have some vague idea of what she knows a lot about what she knows less about so that's how i came up with the um difficulty settings um i tried to include every uh question that was submitted to me if i could figure out the answer um if you submitted a question and it didn't make it into the final um show do please let me know and we will be sure to include it in a future Hi, Michigan. Uh, future show. Yeah, and um, so the gals from Down the Yellow Brick Bod, Tara and MK, also gave some assistance with answering some of these questions. So thank you, girls. Love you. Nice shirt and tie combo. Ooh, oh. yes. He's so stylish, isn't he? So cute. Can't stand it. And like I said, this was all his idea. And somebody had asked about the music. It's actually from the Oz disco album, the Mecco Oz album. It's so good. I just I just became aware of that uh, the other day. We are designing um, a logo for Tori, and as we were designing the logo, 
uh, the graphic designer that we're working with was like, oh, I found this disco album. <laughs> or no, we were looking in the archives. We were looking in the New York Public Library archives and uh, came across this disco album, which uh, of course Tori uh, had known about. But um, I thought it would be a good soundtrack to our like, it's kind of like 60s, uh, 60s or 70s, 70s. themed, um, 70s themed uh, trivia night. But you know, um, and yes, Nick did have to pull fellow Oz historians Tara and MK of Down the Yellow Brick Pod for help. And um, thank goodness there is a whole network of Oz historians. I'm not the only one. So there's lots of people to reach out to to ask. How long have I been a Wizard of Oz fan for? All of my life. And I've been collecting for 24 years. Going on 25. Yikes. So I think... Ah, you're a ventriloquist. Very good. Yes, it's like, look, I'm your dummy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah, with your suit on, you do kind of look like a ventriloquist. <laughs> this is so exciting, you guys. Are you guys excited for trivia night? Yeah! Love the history about the making of the original film. Me too. All right, you guys. It's 8.35. We've given a full, do you want to give more time or do you think a no, full I, five minutes is good? I think we are ready to go. All right, full disclosure, you guys are going to stump me. So don't be shocked. I don't know every single thing. I do a lot of research. She's worried about getting stumped. I am a little scared. She's, I'm a little nervous. I'm like, oh my God, my street cred is on the line here. But I know you guys will understand. It's really more about knowing, as a teacher, don't you think that knowing where to find the information is more important than knowing every single thing off the top of your head. Yeah, it's about the teaching the skills, not the content necessarily. Exactly. Wizard of Oz trivia, that is correct. Join in, and we want you guys to answer in the comments too. I'm gonna be sitting far enough back where I won't be able to see because I'm not wearing my spectacles. So definitely, like, type, if you know the answer, type it in. You guys excited? I'm excited. All right, I'm just going over to my seat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um... Kill the music! All right, no, close your eyes. How long do I have to keep them closed? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm just cutting the music. I can't see. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Just one. All right, you can open your eyes. All right, so uh, the first thing I was going to do is um, just give you an explanation of how the game works. I don't know if... I don't know how well you can see that, but um, I'll I'll read I'll read what the slide says to you. Actually, um, in the comments, are you able to read, you to read the it? screen? Because I can read I can see from here. Okay, so it oh. says there are twenty five questions. Difficulty is measured by the number of twisters. Oh, cute, babe. So one, two, or three twister difficulty. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I put single twister questions first, and then we'll advance from there. Okay, so I guess. How this works, it's like, uh, it's measured by number of mm. twisters is the difficulty. It's backwards, is it? Yeah, it's, to... it, there's, it's flipped. I don't know if there's a way we can flip. Hold on. Hold the line, please. Let me see if we can... Mirror the video. Mirror it. I don't think we can. Hold on, please. No, I don't think there's a way we can do that. Sorry, guys. It's okay. We will read it to you. Don't end the... Don't end it. No, we don't want moderators. Hold on, guys. Technical difficulties. Hold, hit the button to flip it. Which button? Which button? Help us. Help. We're inept. <laughs> Hold on. I let's don't see. have Gift, a TikTok pause. brain. Admin settings? No, we tried that. I have no TikTok brain. Look in the comments. They'll tell us. Tell us, you guys. Teach, teach us. I actually don't know how to do it in live. You need to hit the mirror button. Well, that's unhelpful. There is no mirror button. Hey, hey, hey. They're trying to help. Flip. Mirror. Oh, mirror! You did it! Thank you. Thank you, Sean Michael 48. Now you can see the appropriate screens. All right. Now, are you, uh, folks in the comments, are you able to. Um, now, is it forwards? Forward facing? It's okay, you're not late. We haven't started yet. Yeah, we haven't started. We're just going over the, the directions. So, um, to, to reiterate what Tori just said, um, we have a total of 25 questions. 22 of them are Oz questions that came from you all uh, in the comments to a video that I posted to my account. And then I threw in three 
questions from the Star Wars universe that are kind of Oz related, but this I just... one, see, my fandom is Oz. This one's a Star Wars nerd. <laughs> I I just I needed to you know I needed to give myself a little something here, <laughs> um, and uh, I've arranged them in difficulty using a very scientific tornado uh, <laughs> metering system. One tornado emoji meaning questions that I think are easy for Tori based on what I know about what she knows. Um, and then three tornadoes means I think it will be difficult for Tori based on what I've gleaned from her, like about the kind of Oz stuff that she doesn't know so much about. Um, Star Wars. Yeah. Star Wars getting some love in the comments. <laughs> hey, back up. You're not, you're not going to be able to read the comments. From here, I cannot. <laughs> so the reason that we're sitting in this way is that uh, when the game starts, I'll, we'll start the game in, the, in a moment with our first question. And um, Tori doesn't have her spectacles on, so uh, I don't want her to see in the comments. So I want to encourage you to play along with us, see if you can get the answer before Tori can get the answer. See, from here I can, from here All I right, cannot. So stay back, stay back. <laughs> but you're so pretty. Stay behind, get, get back. <laughs> There's your, your water's over there. No, you're, that's your water. This no, my water. water's over here. Oh. Okay. How many? Oh, All you right, got, got me? Oh, you got me a water? <laughs> um, so, uh, please play along in the comments. Um, drop your answers. And, um, yeah, they love your ears. Thank you, um, Effie. I think they meant your other ears. <laughs> <laughs> um, play along and see if you can... Uh, who made the ears? They, I found them on Etsy. I actually don't remember the shop that made them, but you can go search for them. If only it was Star Trek questions. Mm. Nah, not for me. Mm. You'll have to go elsewhere for <laughs> Star Trek fandom. Sorry, guys. All right, let's begin our uh, trivia game. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Drop your answers in the comments. Let's see if you can beat Tori, and let's see if collectively we can stump Tori. Oh, you with will. Some for sure. questions. All right, All right. I'm, ready. I'm ready. Easy question. Single tornado difficulty. Here we go. Ah, I'm so nervous, you guys. Question one. What is the name of the actor who played the coroner? Meinhard Robbie. In 1939. Can I even finish the question? <laughs> My God. Good God, man. <laughs> it's Meinhard Robbie. This question came to us from Avery. It was a one tornado difficulty. Thank you, Avery. And... It's Meinhard Robbie was the coroner munchkin. Yay! There he is. All right. She's one for one, folks. <laughs> I just I had to throw her a couple softballs, make her feel good about herself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, before you annihilate. <laughs> All right. Question two. Oh, my gosh. I'm so nervous. Let me at least read I'm the sorry, question. I'm sorry. I saw the Let hat. Let me at I saw, least I read saw the, the question. Hat. I'm my sorry. God. What year did Journey Back to Oz come out? This comes to us from Artsy Fartsy. What? This is a trick question, you guys, because the film started production in 1962. It actually did not get oh. released until 1972 because they ran out of money in production, but it was released in the UK only in 1972, and it didn't come to the United States until 1974. Oh, wait, I probably have the wrong answer. <laughs> I think I have the wrong answer on the next slide. Oh, Lord. Uh, so what's the answer? Okay, it's a trick question because it was released in the UK in 1972 and in the United States in 1974. And then it started on oh. television oh. in 1975, which is really when it picked up steam. Uh, uh, okay. Um, <laughs> Let's see what you did. Well, that, that would explain why um, our TikTok user, Artsy Fartsy What, that would probably explain why they submitted the question because it's a tricky question. It is a tricky question. Uh, so that's the so UK, UK release. So, UK 72, uh, United States, it premiered in New Jersey at a Holiday Inn in 1974. It was a total flop. And then in 1975, a, uh, fallen from Greece comedian who liked to sell jello, uh, did, hosted it on television and it picked up a lot of steam on television there for a few years. So there you go. All right. So, uh, you... That was really a two tornado question. <laughs> yeah, that, no, that was, de that was definitely a two tornado question. I understand now why it was, was chosen. Um... Uh, Tori's daughter and I were reviewing the questions uh, just this afternoon. Oh, um, and she didn't say a word. You were trying to sneak downstairs. I really wasn't. I heard no, I a heard creak you guys on saying, the steps. I was doing the dishes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was accused. I was doing the dishes. I was wrongfully accused. <laughs> All right. Question three. She's two for two. This is so scary. 
What did the original ruby slippers look like before they settled on the pair seen in the 1939 film? This question comes to us from Steven, and I gave this a single tornado because I know Tori has like five pairs of these shoes. I know she's obsessed with them, and she craves yet even more pairs. And I will so, have more. Um, so again, kind of, so I'm, I'm assuming you mean what did the original pair designed for the film look like? Uh, I'm pretty sure I did. I did quite a bit of reading on this one. I'm pretty sure what we're looking for here is the not, original not design the ones that were in the book. The ones because they were silver. Yeah, yeah, not yeah, not the book, not the silver ones. Correct. The original ones that were designed they were for the film. They were curly toed, and they were called the Arabian pair. Ah, uh, another another name. You're, I mean, very close. They're the curly toed Arabian yeah. pair of shoes. That's oh, what they okay. are. I had Arabian test pair. Um. But these, uh, anything more that you want to say about the shoes? Uh, Debbie Reynolds ended up owning these shoes. They were in her collection for a very long time. After she passed away, I believe they were auctioned again. Yes, dumb Ozian, the Arabian pair with curly toes. Not so dumb, after all. Silver in the book, yes, that's right. You guys are so smart. See, they know. Kill are... the game. All right, we're three, we are three. Three for three. Oh, I'm just, like, I'm getting all nauseous and nervous. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is hard. The Arabian pair kind of did look like the silver shoes were drawn in the book with the curved toe. They did have a slight curve in the book. And actually, so they, in some adaptations, they change form based on who's wearing them. Uh, that your personality can change the way that the shoes look in some adaptations, which I actually really like. I like that the person wearing them can imbue them with their own power. Yeah, story is being tested. <laughs> this was all his idea. I had nothing to do with this. She's truly. going from Padawan to Jedi Master. <laughs> oh, this is so scary, you guys. I'm so nervous. All right, that was question three. On to question four. We're still in one tornado territory. <laughs> Just giving her a false sense of security. This is terrifying, you guys. Uh, what was Toto's real name? This question comes to us from... Uh, actually, two, uh, two people had very similar questions. Terry. Uh, Tyler and user long number. It's Terry the Terrier, of course. And then she was renamed Toto after she did The Wizard of Oz. You, oh, you guys are so good. These questions are great. Terry, 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 She's Terry. Famous. Yeah, you She's guys are, famous dog. She's you all are, you all are crushing it. You all are crushing it. Yeah, these are these are one tornadoes. We're just trying to build up, you know, give her a sense of before crushing of me into the dirt before we throw the curveballs at her. You know, <laughs> this is terrifying. <laughs> I feel like I'm in the hot seat, you guys. I, mean, I think I think the next question coming up may be Oz adjacent. Oz adjacent. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Another, another Oz question. Is this a one tornado, uh, one question? tornado One tornado question. Question five. In the beginning of the 1939 film, ooh, there's a dedication. We saw this recently at the uh, live concert that we went to. There is a dedication. Who is it dedicated to? To the young at heart. The whole dedication reads... Yeah, uh, read, nearly, give us the 40, whole... For nearly 40 years, this, this story has given service to the young at heart, and the time has been powerful powerless to put its kindly philosophy out of fashion to those of you who've been faithful to it in uh -huh. return and to the young in heart we dedicate this picture wow okay so uh i i had a feeling that she would have memorized the entire dedication and sure enough and that was when it was only almost 40 years old it is now nearing 83 years old can you believe well the the movie's nearing 83 years old and the story itself is 122 years old you guys yeah we just um uh, a couple weekends ago, we went to a um, a theater and we watched uh, we watched the thirty nine film uh, projected onto a big screen with a live orchestra, and that was the first time that I read this uh, dedication in its entirety. The answer I was looking for, which she gave because she just read, she just you know said the whole thing from memory. Um, to those of you that have been faithful in return and the young at heart. So she got it. She's got five out of five. Uh, yes, that was impressive. Uh, yeah, only a true fan could recycle You know, that. actually, somebody stitched one of my videos today and was like, get an effing life. Yeah. <laughs> and, the, like, as I'm saying that out loud, I'm like, yeah, he's got a point. <laughs> yeah. We got a nasty, nasty uh, video. Um... I had a feeling, I had a feeling that she would um, have been able to recite this because when we were watching the film in the theater, she was like, 
like reciting the dialogue like you know right before it was being spoken so uh yeah just watch oz always see new things and this afternoon we just started watching star wars uh together uh tori her daughter and i um and i'm seeing new things uh and i've watched them many dozens of times it's a lot of fun uh, to watch with, with new people. Good evening. We are playing some Oz trivia tonight. We just finished question five. This is so scary. Uh, oh my gosh, are we still in one tornado territory? We're still in one tornado territory, and I think we're coming up on our first uh, Star Wars-related question. Oh, great. I'm not going to get any uh -huh. of this. Oh, question six. Ah! This is... Uh, I see a desert. <laughs> question six. At the start of A New Hope, Luke Skywalker is living on a dusty farm with his aunt and uncle. Very similar to Dorothy living on a dusty farm with her aunt and uncle. What is the name of the planet that Luke Skywalker lives on? Oh, God. It's not Tatooine. It's, um... We were oh. just watching Star Wars. I know! Is, we were just... this. Naboo? That was not is planned. We were just watching Star Wars. Is it Naboo? You doubt yourself. <laughs> She doubted I, I'm herself. not a Star Wars historian. She doubted I'm it. We were Naboo. just we were That's just my watching guess. Is it. It, Naboo? it was Tatooine. It was Tatooine. It was Tatooine. I'm not going to count that up. against her. It's not I a. I thought that got blown up. No, that was Alderaan. Alderaan gets blown up. Son of a beast. Tatooine, or as Boba Fett says, Tatooine. But you see, it was in my radar, so I still had a little yeah, bit was, of a nugget. Yeah, it was on your radar, but your radar was a little bit off. That was unfair. She didn't use the false. He, this whole thing was a plan to use to use his vehicle for Star Wars. Yeah, this is this is, this entire elaborate thing that I did was an excuse for me to put her on the spot and ask her Star Wars questions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go with your gut. I know. You just gotta. You just gotta trust put my a, feelings. Put away the targeting computer. Use the force. I just gotta trust my feelings. Okay, uh, we're still in one. Uh, tornado, tornado twista. territory. It's a twista. Just one. Uh, question seven. So we've had five Oz questions. The other question was not Oz. What's the name of the leader of the winged monkeys in the book and the 1939 film? Oh, gosh. Okay, so in the book, the in the film, it's Nico is the name of the flying monkey. And in the book, it's a really long name, and I don't remember off the top of my head. Oh, I, I just had I just had one. I just had it's one Nico. Say. It's a different name in the book. Oh. Nico! <laughs> well, my bad. I uh, I thought it was just Nico for both of them. Yes, and folks in the chat, you've got it. Nico. Good job. Pat Walsh played Nico. He was an expert in the movements of primates. He studied monkeys. He went to zoos and actually sat with them to learn their movements. And he was known in Hollywood as the man to call when you were looking to portray a monkey on film. Chistery is the name of the monkey in Wicked. Well done. <laughs> Hey, stop reading. You're too close. I'm sorry. I can't see from back here. Um, if you need me to look at the ceiling to prove that I can actually do this. <laughs> All right. On to the next question. Ooh, I'm scared. Oh, we're in two tornado territory. Oh, no. Because this is a two-part question, so I gave it two tornadoes. Oh, God. How old... I, the, I know she's going to know Judy. How old were Judy and the dog Terry when they starred in The Wizard of Oz? And this is a little... I thought that was a little tricky, so I gave it two tornadoes. It is a little tricky because Judy was 16, uh, Terry was 6, which means that she was the same age as Jack Haley in Dog Years, 42. Um, Maybe I didn't get the right answer. <laughs> oh, no. So Six? Yeah. Well, I, I forget what I wrote down. All right, so what would you say for your answers? Uh, Terry was 6 and Judy was 16. Um, and this came to us from Cher Johnny Horse Obsessed. Cher Johnny Horse now, Obsessed. Now, if you want to Can know you ask date, Tori if there's an actual date of the tornado? An actual date of the... There's an estimated date of the tornado. And um, according to... Does that count as a stone? Weather patterns, uh, people think it was in May, the actual tornado uh, in the story. Um, but yeah, Terry was six. Judy was 16. Uh, Ray Bolger was 35, I believe. Um... Or was he 33? Kansas boy Dylan, 23. You're literally my favorite person ever. I'm crying. Please notice me. Oh my God. Hello. You're my favorite person. Thank you. Oh my gosh. That's so sweet. Thank you so much. This is fun. Yeah. Terry was six though. Check your math. <laughs> okay. Well, let's check my math. Uh, I don't know. I know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going off of. 
Wait, what did you say Judy was? 16. What? Yes. No, because it was... Terry was four until October when it started filming. When it started filming... It started filming it in out? 1938. Finished in 1939. Well, those are my answers from Wikipedia. Well, I'm going to have to check the answer. This is easy to figure out. Judy was born in 1922. Okay. What question are we on? All right, question eight. I should totally get a tornado for that because I'm correct and your math is wrong. You wikipedia Check my reference books if you don't believe me. <laughs> Wikipedia is not a reliable Thank source. Thank you, Mr. Professor. Sir. He's a teacher. You wouldn't let your students cite Wikipedia. <laughs> Student yeah, here. I know. I believe. I believe her. I will. We will. We will look into this age controversy <laughs> after the show. Can we see her shirt? It says "Send Judes." This is a My Oh My Supply Co. shirt. Go and check them out. They're amazing. They make beautiful stuff, and it is so comfy. Feel how soft I am, babe. I'm so soft. She was 17 in Oz years. <laughs> um, can uh, they send them a McGuire installment? What's that? Uh, they said something about, um, have you read... I haven't started reading it Maguire. yet, no. I haven't Maguire started reading Oz it Oz book. That's the wicked books that they're talking about. Um, in Wizard of Oz, our favorite trivia is the trivia that we're going through right now. Oh my gosh, I know. Isn't this fun? And I'm correcting the teacher. Bring it on, yeah. babe. The, These the, two tornado the, questions are challenging. The master becomes the learner. Yeah, didn't your didn't your book say something about master and and obeying? Yeah, when we played, uh, Tori was doing a a trend, where the trend was reach for the nearest book and open it up and read the first line and it explains your love life. And yours said, Perf- "It is perfection." It's perfection. And then I was sitting in my I was laying in bed and on my nightstand I have um, a little book that has the Confucius Analects and the Tao Te Ching. And, um, the first line of page 30 was, um, obey, <laughs> obey the master. But which of us is so the master? So the running That's joke the between question. her and I is, who is the master? Who is the master? Who is the apprentice? <laughs> okay, we're on to question nine out of 25. Uh, who was the designer of the Tin Man costume in the 1939 movie adaptation? This comes to us from, uh, uh, Jared. And I gave it uh, two tornadoes, but she probably Adrian knows. was the designer of the costume. He designed all of the costumes, and then the MGM wardrobe department carried out his designs. He didn't actually build it, but he did design it. One of the munchkins was slightly blind, so they used a laser pointer to tell him to go. <laughs> da, 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 da. I dare you to date Megan Trainer. Don't date someone else. <laughs> Stick with me. I All know right, so, stuff. Uh, you had said you got you got it. He he. Um, Adrian designed. No. Mm-mm. Uh, Adrian designed all of the. Um, all the costumes. costumes. Oh, I learned something about Adrian as I was researching him. Adrian um, was in a relationship called a. Was it a lavender marriage or a velvet marriage? It's when, since it was socially unacceptable to be in a same-sex marriage at the time, he married a woman who herself was, um, I don't know if if they, I guess they're not sure if she was a lesbian or not, but there's the name for the marriage where two people mutually enter into a relationship. um, And then they can go and have their... Right. Yeah, so he Aww. was in he was in one of these relationships. It was called a lavender relationship or Good for a for you, Adrian. Live your best um, life, babe. Velvet relation I think lavender. yeah, lavender, lavender, yeah. It was a lavender relationship. Yeah, he had quite a life. Um and um yeah, I, I I'd like to read more about um more about his um he like was very, studio that he created. I have a video design. about him. Check out my Oz behind the scenes. Oh my gosh, these are getting really tough. All right, next two tornado. This comes from a book, so I gave it two tornadoes. 
Question 10. What was the army of disgruntled women of the Emerald City called in the marvelous land of Oz? The army of revolt. Oh, man. Jeez. <laughs> this came to us from Skivvy McSlightly. And General Ginger was the leader of the army of revolt. And they were revolting because they wanted... They were a... sick of the men being in charge. Uh -huh. And they made the men do all the women's work. And the men commented after a day of doing housework, women must be made of cast iron. Well, then, for the next trivia, then perhaps Tori will revolt against me. No! And <laughs> take command. Uh, seeing as I can't even get the ages of the characters right over here. <laughs> uh, his marriage was to Janet Gaynor. Uh, thank you. Ginger is a badass. She is a badass. General Ginger, the long-forgotten character of Oz, Princess not, Leia of Not forgotten Wizard by Oz. me, folks. Not forgotten by me. Adrian was a friend of Dorothy. How ironic. Yes! How many Oscars did the movie win? Oh, um, that's a good question. I oh, know it dang, won. dang, I should have put that in the mix. You know, I don't know off the top of my head. It did win for Over the Rainbow Battle. Hey, Oscar. Sam! <laughs> Hello! Is that your... Is, hi! Yeah. <laughs> hi, sweetie! <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, Sam. All right. No, he's trying to stump me. So Let's far, see. not so good. We are on question... That was question 10. Ooh. On to question 11. Oh. Another Star Wars question. I oh, need to, no. No. Can't, can't quite read this one. Let me see here. In A New Hope, the heroes must infiltrate a forest protected by a small-winged spacecraft. So the equivalent in Wizard of Oz of the Witch's Castle and the Flying Monkeys, respectively. So, in Star Wars A New Hope, what is the name of the fortress that the heroes need to infiltrate? And what is the name of the small-winged fighter craft that defend the fortress? Okay, so the fortress is the Death Star, right? Correct. And the thing, so did they use the X-Wings to try to infiltrate? Or, or are we talking about the Millennium Falcon? Well, we're talking about what are the ships that the Empire uses to defend They're the not Death the Star. Meh. <laughs> Aw, but I got Death Star. <laughs> Wrong you are. <laughs> How? How are you so adorable and also such a nerd? Got her. <laughs> TIE Fighters. Okay. Again, this should not yeah. count against my score. Yeah, yeah, not I'm not a, not a Star a... Wars historian. That would, I guess, be you. Based off on Ice Star Wars. <laughs> Star Wars is basically the Wizard of Oz confirmed. Yeah. Thank the you. Running, the running joke between her and I is... We're like watching or reading something about. She's teaching me something about Wizard of Oz, and I was like, "Oh, that sounds like they got that from Star Wars." And I was like, "Wizard of Oz." <laughs> and she's always. She's like, "Wizard of Oz is first. Ah! <laughs> and now I just now I just say it just to get her fired up. <laughs> <laughs> He's so funny. He doesn't really need to do much to fire me up about Oz. Just Let's see. Technically, three Oscars: score, song, and Judy's juvenile Junior award. Juvenile Oscar. That's correct. She was so cute. Um, my pronouns are he, him. Your pronouns are she, her. Thank you for asking. Um, okay. The next question will be Oz-related. We're on the two tornado difficulty level. Ah, I'm scared. Aha. Uh -huh. Finish this quote from the 1939 film, Auntie M, Auntie M, come back. I love you, Auntie M, my pretty the voice and everything folks how about that <laughs> bonus point that's a two tornado take care uh, so thanks for thanks for tuning in take care bye that uh, was not I... a, that was not a two tornado question oh you know what i did here i i i um i didn't want to reveal i didn't want to reveal the image because i thought it would give away the exact scene i thought it was hard because it was auntie m auntie m and so i thought that uh the what's her face would say that away. The, the um, comeback is what gave it away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because what Dorothy says, Oh, Annie M, don't go away. I'm frightened. Come back. Come back. And then she goes, Annie M, Annie M, come back. I'll give you Annie M. I'm 26 and cl close my eyes during, still close my eyes during the close-up. <laughs> yeah, her, really her, laugh, close her laugh impression is, uh, is chilling. It's not, <laughs> as, not as good as I wish it was. How did we meet? We met at a uh, Japanese restaurant. Tell them the truth. Uh, That's where Denver. we had our first date. Uh, uh -oh. We met on Bumble. <laughs> <laughs> We're online.
nine days. We're we're millennials in the time of of COVID. We met on Bumble we and we did have our first date at a Japanese restaurant, which was fabulous. And then we went to sing karaoke. Well, I was gonna say, yeah, the on the first date we went to sing karaoke. Well, you sang. She sang karaoke. <laughs> She serenaded he, me, and, and I... he was actually like screaming from the bar, like "Woo!" Yeah. <laughs> it was good. She was. She has. She's got some pipes, as you guys know. Um, do you guys role play? I I do Revolutionary War reenacting, and Tori uh, used to dress up as various princesses as a thing for. She would go to people's birthday parties. I worked for a princess company professionally, which was a lot of fun. I don't professional, think that's what, she's professional I don't think that's princess. The question they were asking, but I appreciate. Your oh, answer. oh, right, yeah, <laughs> that kind. Of, uh, <clears throat> don't answer. Your niece is watching. <laughs> okay, on to the next question. Uh, have you found the Ray Dunn Wizard of Oz mugs? No, yet? I've been going every week. I can't find that was the. Oh, you were. She was. Te- yeah, you were telling me about Home going Goods. going to Home Goods. I can't find them yet, and the prices on eBay right now are crazy. I'm gonna wait till. What's your karaoke out. song? My I always start with Over the Rainbow. Usually, I oh, try thank to be you. adventurous with thank when people watching, but and sing an Adele song. Never mind, I'll find someone like you. For this next question, I just learned this yesterday as we were designing, we're designing a new, we're working with a graphic designer to uh, design Tori a new logo. And in our research, this map came up and Tori taught me that the colors are reversed. Yeah, this is, this map is backwards. Munchkins should always be in the east and Winky should uh, always yes, be I in like the Oh yes, I like K-pop. Um, um, no, my girl is not single. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Um, yeah, so, so the yellow and the blue should be reversed. We have a two, uh, two tornado trivia difficulty question. In TikTok of Oz, where did Betsy Bobbins and Hank get washed ashore? I'm going to have to guess. I have two possible answers. Oh, oh, we might've got her folks. Drum roll. It's either the Rose Kingdom or the Land of Ev. I'm, I'm leaning toward the Rose Kingdom. Okay. She's going Rose Kingdom. Drum roll. <laughs> yeah, she got it! Yeah. I was really not sure about that one. <laughs> uh, my preference for K-pop uh, dates back to the years 2010 to 2014 when I lived in China. So my the K-pop groups that I like are kind of dated now. Um, there's a couple songs by the Wonder Girls that uh, I liked a lot. Um, Rain was very big at that time. Um, to anyone, uh, so those are some of the. You did not walk in on a lecture. We're doing a trivia night, a Wizard of Oz trivia night. Oh yeah, that was yeah. That was not a K-pop lecture. <laughs> uh, those are I I like. What's some happening? We're doing Wizard of Oz trivia. K-pop Stick bands. around. They're trying to stump me. Now would be the time. This woman is amazing. They that oh oh they they that was amazing. They said they thought they were going to get you on that one. <sighs> That was a tough one. Yeah, I yeah, it was a good, it was a good time for K-pop. Those Luckily, years. I just reread parts of TikTok. Oh, of Big Oz. Bang, yeah, oh, yeah, Big Bang, also, for sure. Um, wow, it's bringing me back. <laughs> we'll have to talk K-pop sometime. Um, all right, for those that, uh, yeah, we almost got her. For those that joined, we are playing Wizard of Oz trivia. We are about, um, we're we're uh, a little maybe halfway, a little more than halfway through twenty five Wizard of Oz trivia questions that were submitted by uh, you all who came over to my account and submitted uh, questions. You guys will stump me, don't worry. These are oh, we're gonna we're gonna hard. get her. We're gonna get her. We started with uh, easy questions. That was one twister difficulty. We're on two twister difficulty. Hardest book to get through. Someone asked. Hardest book to the get through. The ears were from um, um, the Tin Woman of Oz. She got them online. Slog and parts. But um, I, I like all the original Etsy, fortune Etsy. novels. Etsy, the, 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 the ears are from Etsy. You said, what did you say was hardest? I think the Tin Woodman of Oz uh, lags in places. Uh, okay, let's go on to question 14. Oh, these are getting so hard, you guys. I don't know if I can do it. What was the name of the beauty parlor where our beloved main characters get their makeovers in the 1939 film? This comes to us from Santa or Sana. Wash and Brush Up Co. Wash and Brush Up Company. She got it. That was really a one tornado question. 
Have you watched the Drag Race episodes that are Wizard of Oz themed? Yes, those are so cool. Is that on? It's on RuPaul's, RuPaul's Drag Race. Yeah. Oh, well, I think maybe we talked about that. We have. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, my daughter's big into K-pop. Yeah, my students are major K-pop fans. Um, they all have little, like, pictures of their favorite uh, bands. Uh, if any of Nick's students are here. Ah, our third and last oh, God. Star Wars question. Oh, no, not more Star Wars. <laughs> Similar to how our heroes infiltrate the witch's castle by dressing up like the guards with the tall Russian or, or British bearskin uh, caps, Han and Luke dress as stormtroopers to infiltrate the Death Star. He teaches history. Princess Leia doesn't fall for the trick when Luke Skywalker enters her cell... Aren't Princess you a Slayer. Short to be a stormtrooper. Oh, is that the question? <laughs> well, I got her. I got her with Tie Fighters. I got. I got her with Tie. Tie Fighters and Tatooine. I got her with Tie Fighters and Tatooine. It's just such a memorable line. Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> I'm sorry, honey. I didn't. Mean Did you see Ellie Diamond's promo look from UK? It was based on the girls in pink. From the I UK didn't. too, it's based on the girls in pink. I teach uh, high school history, history uh, U.S. history, civics, and the history of modern China. Greetings from the Arctic. Hello. Hi. Bundle up. Luke is too short. Yes. Weirdest core memory with Oz. Is that a question? Weirdest core memory. Huh. Yeah, Oz. Oz stole all of this from Star Wars. Okay, I absolutely. Actually, I have a weird Wizard of Oz memory. Uh, one year, while we were doing a Wizard of Oz festival in the Midwest, we had a singing contest that I hosted, and uh, somebody literally got up and did the entire Munchkinland sequence, start to finish, as their song, but was reading it off of a phone and the whole like thirteen minute sequence. Oh, yeah, it's kind of all of the parts. Kind of awkward. It was. <laughs> There's a Sweet Life on Deck episode, Wizard of Oz themed. It was so weird, but good for a Disney show. Yeah, it was cute. Look up RuPaul Drag Race UK 2 LA Diamond promo look. Ah, okay. Will do. Uh, These are getting really hard, you guys. All right, back back to the Wizard of Oz questions. We might be on three tornado difficulty oh God, now. I'm going to fail. Bear, this is it, guys. I can feel it. You're about to stump me. Yes. Three, 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 uh, tornado difficulty. Oh, God. How many munchkins are in the nest during the Ding Dong, the Witch is Dead number? This comes to us from Mike Proven, Provenzano. Five. Come on. It's five. Dang. Oh, is that yet? Yeah! <laughs> to, 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 uh, Wake up, you sleepy heads, rub your eyes, get out of bed. Wake up, the wicked witch is dead. Oh, uh, Jack, Jack Dakota says, I'm doing an Oz film I'd love you to read. Oh, cool. I'd love to. Uh, send Tori a... Send me an Instagram DM. There you go. Send her an Instagram DM. Button Bright is my favorite. Ah, oh, Button Bright. Are you going to have an Oz-themed wedding? I think it's going to be a Star Wars-themed wedding. I'm just... <laughs> her face. <laughs> he has to ask me first. He hasn't asked me yet. It's only a matter of time. You can't resist. Just got to find a suitable emerald... It's uh, <laughs> difficult. Ariana's going to be playing Glinda. Yes, exciting yes, indeed. Is. Those whistle tones. The way Tori is with Wizard of Oz. Hi, I'm with Harry Potter. Oh, I love Harry Potter. <clears throat> All right, let's get on to our next uh, three tornado difficulty question. Oh, God. I... Every so time... far, wait, did we get you on any Oz questions yet? Not, there's been some debate about ages. Otherwise, oh, yeah, we otherwise... were... Uh, Are you keeping track of my tornadoes that I'm earning? Uh, well, you've got them all so far. Mm, with it. with the exception of the question about the... Um... Question 17. Who was the last cast member of this? I think this is hard. Who was the last cast member of the 39 adaptation to pass away? Zach, Zach R. Little. I The way I researched this was I just... I doubt you got this right. Okay. So, are we talking about the main <laughs> cast? This, uh, no, like this was uh, just anyone. Jerry anyone Maron who was, in... was the last munchkin, and he was the last. Oh, 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 okay, okay. So uh, this I can say for sure. I came across the munchkin who passed away. This was like 2019, 
There is a, a, a someone else who's passed away since then. It's probably one of the child actors, because there were also munchkins that were children, um, and it was probably one of them. There are still cast members, children, child actors that are still alive. Karen Marshall is still one alive. One of the lollipop kids, um, someone said. I think the fairest... I mean, if we're talking about the, the main cast, the last person to die was Ray Bulger um, in 87. Uh, or, no, was it 85? Maybe it was 85. Uh, but Ray Bulger was the last of the main cast to die, and the last of the Munchkin actors to die was Jerry Marin. Um, that is all that I know. So you probably got me on this one. Yeah, it might be it might be a child, um, one of the children that was in the film. Meredith Glass was one of the children. Oh, okay. So I, and there's a there's a link under. But your she was not the here. last. There are still children actors out there who are still alive. So she was not the last cast member. She is the last person chronologically to have died. But there are still more people out there. Yeah. All right. Well. Uh, I didn't get it. You guys I'm, got yeah, me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna count this. This is it, Zach. Zach R. Little. You got me. You got her. Yeah, got because me. I someone another cast member may have died since this news story that I found, but Tori had mentioned a Munchkin who passed, and this person Jerry was not Man. a Munchkin who passed. So uh, we got her with a three tornado question. That was a tricky question, though, because she's not a main cast member. Well, you just gotta up your game. <sighs> Can't know everything. All right, question eighteen comes from one of the books. What was in the dinner pail, not lunch pail? I will say I will Ooh. I will say that. Dinner pail, not lunch pail. Dorothy selects after she meets the Wheelers in Return to Oz, I guess the Marvel comic series is what the user was referring to, Skivvy Mix Lightly. But it also mm. this is also in Baum's um book Ozma of Oz, and it's Dinner pail, not lunch pail. Okay, well, the lunch pail has a ham sandwich, a pickle, a piece of sponge cake, and, um... The dinner pail offered turkey, uh-huh. tongue, uh-huh. lobster. Whoa. That's all I can remember. Well, you got so three. Got partial credit? You got three, and the, and the person who submitted the question, it's a long list. The person who submitted said if she can give us three, she's got it. <gasps> oh, I got three! Yay! <laughs> so you had said, you got turkey, you said tongue, and yeah. you said lobster. So yeah! she gets it. That was a three tornado question. That was tough. Tr- yeah. I had to dig deep in my memory bank for that one. Other things. Lemonade. Turkey. Bread and butter, custard pie, orange, strawberries, nuts and raisins. Yeah, that was a that was a proper. The lunch pail is easy to remember because it's featured in question. Return to Oz, and she pulls it down off the tree and goes, "A ham sandwich," and mm. and Belina goes, "Glad it's not fried chicken." Mm. So that's really easy to remember. <laughs> Why is the Wicked Witch's eye patch always omitted? I wish it wasn't. It's such a cool thing. <clears throat> so she has one magic eye that can see all, and she wears an eye patch over the other. Um, yeah, we do want to go to Land of Oz. Yes, I want to go so bad. It's on my bucket list. You should take me. I should take her, she said. <laughs> I, I like North Carolina. Yeah, I love North Carolina. I'm happy to go. A little camping. Yeah. Perhaps. It's very dog-friendly down there. I like it a lot. I wonder, is Land of Oz dog-friendly? Probably not. And there's a, Just totos. There's a place that sells tea plants. Oh. So we can go to the tea nursery. Do you know why they chose... Okay, so did you answer the eye patch question? Yes. Do you know why they chose poppies for the flower that puts them to sleep? Well, I think because it has... Well, that is in the book. And poppies um, create opium, which uh, is obviously a, a, a narcotic. Yeah. So, and it was um, also used to make laudanum, which yeah. was like a liquid form of opium that in the Victorian period... But that's true to the book. The poppies were in the book. Was there any Princess Mombi merch? Not a ton. Land of Us were... is not pet friendly. Okay, thanks for thank you for telling me that. I was, Thank I was, you. Uh, um, so, so there wasn't a ton of Mombi merch. There wasn't a ton of merch, period, because the movie was a flop and they pulled everything off the shelves almost instantly. Um, there were a couple of posters with Princess Mombi on them. Um, there were like a, there was a puzzle I think that had her on it, but there really wasn't a ton of stuff. Have you read the Wicked? Have you read the Wicked series? Yes, they were I really good, and we get the last one. more backstory for the characters. The first one's really my favorite. They, for me, they kind of go downhill after that, but that's just me. Are you guys enjoying this? This is so fun. 
I'm having a good time. Are you having fun, honey? Yeah, I'm having a blast. Am I getting more than you thought I would get, or? Um, I I think you're doing what I as well as I thought you would do. I I knew that the I knew that the Star Wars questions weren't fair, but you've got all of the, you got all the Oz questions except for one, and um, I'm gonna take your word on the ages the age thing because yes, I just got that from Wikipedia. So, um, Mr. Bannis, what all right. the heck? Yeah, how, who hired this guy? Who gave this guy a job? Question 19 out of 25, I'm pretty sure. What is... Oh, this is a three, uh, three tornado question because the name is, like, crazy long. What is the full name of the Wizard of Oz? This comes to us from Robert William White, who gave us a couple questions. This is easy to remember if you know the acronym that his name oh, spells out. Oh, dang! Oz That's King why... Head. Okay, so I didn't include that as... The question submitted to me also included Pinhead, and I dropped that because then I knew it would his tip name you off. Is, the acronym for his name is Oz Pinhead. It's Oscar Zoroaster Phadric Isaac Norman Henkel Emmanuel Ambrose Diggs. <laughs> uh, it's good that I changed the question because I did that for a couple of them. I cut out some parts of what people said because I was like, she's going to get this. <laughs> and sure enough, even without the Pinhead... Hint, she just rattled it. Wait, rattle it off again, because I want to check and Oscar, see if you got Zoroaster, it. Oscar, Zoroaster, Phadric, Isaac, Norman, Henkel, Emmanuel, Ambrose, Diggs. Dang! <laughs> Don't bring it! <laughs> wow. I did think, I did think that was going to get her, because Christ. it's just like... <laughs> Somebody wrote, Jesus Christ. I did think that was going to get her, because it was just... It's a ridiculous name, and I was sure she wasn't going to get one of them, but... Oh, yeah. Yeah, reverse have her quiz me on Star Wars. Bring it. Oh, I love Bring that idea. Bring it. I love that idea. Um, I know she doesn't like Oz the Great and Powerful movie, but what about China Doll? She was cute. She was the best part of the movie. I love the scene where Mommy's Screaming Head is so iconic. Dorothy Gale. He hasn't seen it yet. We're going to live. We're gonna, when we do our live watch along, Patrick Nick's going to join us. It's actually an Irish name pronounced... Podrig. It's Irish for Patrick. Oh. oh, thank you. Learn something new every day. We have not been to the Oz Park in North Carolina. We not were talking yet. about maybe visiting there. Joey King ate up all the other actors in Oz the Great and Powerful. She so did. Not going to lie. She so did. That's worse than Albus Percival. Wolfred Bryan. Oh my gosh. I was listening to a podcast the other day and I just had the realization that. Um, Diagon Alley is just diagonally. Oh my god. And it hit me and I was like, uh. <laughs> That was a three tornado -er? Yeah, I have not seen Return to Oz. That was a three tornado question. Yeah, we're in three tornado territory. This is scary. Why was Dorothy a child in Return to Oz? It's confusing. Because in the book, she was a child. In the, and Return to Oz is really a sequel to L. Frank Baum's book, The Wonderful Wizard of Oz, rather than the movie, The Wizard of Oz. We have not yet gone to Kansas, uh, but we look forward to going to Kansas and seeing the Oz stuff and then also seeing the world's largest ball of yarn, I'm so which is to that. definitely a major draw. <laughs> what Oz movies has Tori seen? All, all, of, all of them. them. As you can yeah. see. Have we done a return to Oz watch party yet? Not no, yet. We we're going to schedule that after this. Yeah, we'll do that live. We're doing it live. Doing it live. <laughs> oh, uh, Connor is reading the Oz books because of you. See, or me. <laughs> I'll take the credit for that. Life, this is my life's work. Thank you, Connor. Thank you. I have seen the 1939 film exactly twice. He had not seen it. When we met. Have you seen the episode of Cursed Films on Shudder on Wizard of Oz? Yes. Yes, my my main recollection from the first time watching it is uh, this is a reference to like a mid-2000s, early mid-2000s um, rap song. Um, the Tin Man is all like rusted over because he got rained on. And then they apply oil to his joints, and he can and he can move. And then he gets up, and he's oh, whoops! This is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> Could have told you that was gonna happen. What? So the the Tin Man gets up, 
and he's and he's like working he's like working his joints and then he goes like this and he like moves his leg like this and it's just like the stanky leg and so i was watching it and i was like i'm pretty sure tin man just did the stanky leg and i was like i bet someone on youtube has made a video about this and then he found it and laughed incessantly and sure enough (laughs) if you go on youtube and you type tin man stanky leg you will find someone who uh, put the stanky leg over Tin Man, and I was just, like, cracking up. I had tears in my eyes. I was laughing so hard. Uh, oh, my fit is fire. Why, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, so have you read Dorothy Must Die series? Yes. Yes, I have. If we go to Kansas, we should go to Lindsburg. Okay. Not Wizard of Oz, but a great town. Will thank do. Thank you. Is there any merch that you don't have? <laughs> stuff i don't have of course yeah, like maybe this much <laughs> the sass the sass i reject it <laughs> I hear tori's it. reaction when she found out you have never seen it oh she pre- she 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 came very close to uh so i think you told me on our first date that you had drop, never seen it all the me. way through and i think my answer to that was that is a solvable problem <laughs> <laughs> yeah she had a uh, wizard of oz face mask on I did. So That's it right. it, oh my God. it came up in conversation. Aww, I was actually wearing my Wizard of Oz cardigan too that night. Do you remember? Uh, Wizard of Oz cardigan. The black one with Toto on on the front. Oh oh. And you said, "Is that a dog on your on your <laughs> cardigan?" <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh Lord. I was like, the "Oh, things buckle I didn't up. know." <laughs> the things, I, yeah. Buckle up. Here we are now. Any regrets, darling? Do you have advice for Do you have any advice for someone playing Uncle Henry in the musical? No, no regrets. Um, be prepared to sit for a very long time during Act Two because you only have eight lines. <laughs> very excited for the Judy fragrance. Yes, we are. We yes! are. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I still need to. We're excited dress. to go to L.A. We are. We are coming down to the wire with getting our uh, stuff together. We both have to get. He needs um, a tux. I need a dress. I need to get a tux. She needs a dress. Sunday, we're going shopping, right? Uh, yes, we're going shopping on Sunday. We went, we went looking for dresses once, but it was all, like, prom stuff, so. But we met lovely people well, in North Have Coast. you watched Wizard of Oz with Dark Side of the Moon playing? Yes. Are your Zodiacs compatible? I think we talked about that. Yeah, they are. It's meant to be, you guys. Uh, okay, on to the next. Uh, where are we? We're in... We are doing Wizard of Oz Trivia Night. We're looking at questions submitted by you all. We are um, into the hardest difficulty level, three tornado difficulty. Uh, We got Tori with one question so far. Question 20 out of 25. This is about the Russian version of the uh, book. What was the name of Dorothy's character in the Russian, in the Russian adaptation of The Wizard of Oz by Alexander Volkov. This comes to us from Book Wonka Best Wonka. This is really a Jane Albright question. My dear friend Jane Albright, president of the International Wizard of Oz Club, join at ozclub.org, um, is an expert on the Russian adaptation. If, if we're talking about the, the English translation of her name, or did you want the Russian name? Uh, the English translation of Ellie the name. Ellie Smith, is it? Uh, yes. Ah, Ellie, I did yeah. it! Um, yeah, if you guys didn't know, the Russians totally did their own knockoff version of The Wizard of Oz because they weren't allowed to have Western books on their shelves, and um, it sucks, <laughs> in my opinion. We've got, a, a, someone said, yes, yeah, she is into the Funko Pop. She has a yes, few of those. Yeah, I have them all. It's Ellie Smith, though, right? Yes, Ellie. Got it. Um, what was the club again? Oh, ozclub.org. Join the International Wizard of Oz Club today. Yes. I've been a card-carrying member since I was nine years old. Of the Wizard of Oz Club, not the Communist Party. (laughs) I would hope that would go without saying. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I just wanted to clarify which organization she's a card-carrying member of. (laughs) Have you read Cheshire... Have you read Cheshire Crossing? No. Oh, Am I from Tennessee because I'm the only 10 that you see? Uh, no, I was born in West Virginia. <laughs> but thank you, Mr. Chocolate Biscuit. I think he was talking to me. Much appreciated. I think he was talking to me. I think he was talking to me. <laughs> Pretty sure Mr. Chocolate Biscuit has has the hots for me. Well, who wouldn't? You're beautiful. What can I say? He's gorgeous. 
Much love from London. Well, hello. Hi, London. Hello. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'd like to apologize to, to all of England. <laughs> It's okay. I'm a I'm a British Revolutionary War reenactor. I'm allowed to it's do just... it. Okay. Question twenty one. Oh. Uh, which actresses portrayed Ozma in the nineteen fourteen silent film Patchwork Girl of Oz? This comes to us from Mickey Callan. Mickey, and this is a three tornado difficulty. I know for oh. sure because I Tori had said to me. She said that she didn't know a whole lot about the Russian stuff. Is it Vivian Reed? Which is why I. It's something read. Something read. I don't know. You got me. You stumped me again. I think it's something read. Oh, you got one of them. Ah, she got one of them. Vivi. So interestingly, you got the one that was like in the. There was like a list of Because it's her casting. birthday today. Oh. We just posted an article on the International Wizard Oz oh. Club about her today. Oh. I think I should get half credit for that. <laughs> Um, but I don't, I don't actually know a ton about, I'm not an expert really in the silent films. I've seen them all and I like them, but I wouldn't say I've watched them as many times as I've watched the 1939 film for sure. Yes. Tori, Tori knows of the Toto Pop. Yes. I posted a video about it the other day. Go check it out. Wizard of Oz episode of Dollface. Um, I've heard of it. I haven't seen it yet. Dollface. It's not Dollhouse. No, no. it's 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 a television show. Dollhouse was by the guy that made Firefly. What's that? Or, right? Doll, Dollhouse? Was it Dollhouse? I don't know. The guy who made the TV show Firefly? No clue, darling. Um. Okay, we are on... This is terrifying, you guys. That was question 21. Just a couple more questions left. Oh my gosh. And so far, we've got Tori on two of the... Two of the 20... 20 to That's not bad, Oz right? Questions. In yeah. terms of like percentages. Joss Whedon, yes, Joss Whedon. That's Thank not you. Bad, right? Um, <laughs> Dollhouse was it, so Dollhouse. Is that what people were talking about, or it's not what people doll were talking? Dollface. Oh, Dollface. Face House. Do you watch the Wizard of Oz episode that is so Raven? Oh, that's so Raven. Yes, I've seen. Oh. That. That. <sighs> I was. I was working on a fan art combining Alice and Dorothy, like a Dorothy in Wonderland, Alice and oh, Oz. Cool. Oh, interesting. I was just thinking that, oh, I was showing you, we, we were researching ideas for your logo, and some people did Thank really cool, gifts. people did really cool Star Wars, Wizard of Oz artwork uh, crossover. Thank you so much for the lollipops. Um, have you heard of the show Over the Rainbow? Yes, the British show where they used, they, it was basically a game show, American Idol type contest to pick Andrew Lloyd Webber's Dorothy for his production. Do you have any merch from the Wizard of Oz Land Universal Studios Osaka? No, not yet. I've got a bunch on my eBay wish list. <laughs> As in Japan? Yeah, they had their own Land of Oz park. With, like, unique stuff? It was more, like, book-centric. Oh. Oh, cat. Yeah, I know, she stinks. <laughs> The cat, there's a, the cat is at our feet, and the cat stinks from the kind of food that uh, she eats. She needs to chew some gum. Oh, thank you for the roses. The Victorious Wizard of Oz episode. Yes. Have you seen the comic um, Cth- Cthulhu? How do you pronounce that? It's um, uh, Cth- Cthulhu is like a mystical creature. I have not. From... What's the name of that author who wrote those horror books? Yep. Uh, the comic Cthulhu Goes to Oz. Have not. Um, Lovecraft. Um, H H P Lovecraft is that the guy's name? What's your favorite Oz themed episode of a TV show? Oh, I love. Show the us the kitty. Futurama. No, don't pick her up. Don't. You'll regret it. Uh, I love the Futurama <laughs> episode. For sure, that one's really funny. I also really love the Phineas and Ferb episode. H.P. Lovecraft, thank you. All right, I'm so curious. Are you going to stump me? All right. You've already got me on two questions. Uh, Where are we? Uh, Question 21. Oh, right. So, wait, did you know the answer? Did you guess? I, yes, we did this one already. Remember? Vivian Reed? Oh, that's did right. Yeah, you got one of them. I got one. Right. Um, And I think, I think Vivian Reed... Correct me if correct me if I'm wrong. Vivian Reed appears as the floating head like briefly and is uncredited in the film. 
And the person who's credited in the film is Jesse May Walsh. I believe you are correct. But these pictures are, I think, Vivian Reed. Well, I know for sure this one is. Oh, okay. So then that one in the corner is Vivian Reed, because that's... Yeah. All right. Uh, on to the next. We're in three tornado difficulty here. Uh, They've got me on two questions already out of 20... How many? Uh, well, there's 22 Oz-related questions. Timothy Ford met some of the un- munchkins a few years ago. Aw. Question 22, three, dif- three tornado difficulty. In Return to Oz, what other big role did the actress who played Aunt M have in the 70s? Two part, I, well, I made it three tornadoes because you kind of have to know two things. Okay, here. so Piper Laurie played Auntie M and she was in Carrie. She played Carrie's mom. Damn, dang, uh, she got it. Uh, Ta-da! I thought that was going to be a lot harder. Uh, okay. Only because I really love, I really like Piper. What's your favorite part of Wicked? All of it, but especially Defying Gravity. So if you care to find me, look to the western sky. You can't ask me Wicked questions and expect me not to sing, you guys. All right, question 23 out of 25. Uh, Three Tornado Difficulty. In Return to Oz, who are the two bearded men flanking Dorothy in on her triumphant return to the Emerald City, and what books did they first appear in? That I, is a trick question because there aren't two men flanking her on the way back into the Emerald City. It's um, a munchkin and the scarecrow flanking her on the way into um, the Emerald City. Well, I, I'm wrong then. Um, but I believe the shaggy man is adjacent to her. Oh, He's like okay. behind her. Yeah, that's um, one. Flanking means next to, right? Uh, yeah. So a munchkin is on her I've never left, seen the movie. I've and never the scarecrow seen the movie. is on her right. Somebody look it up. I'm almost positive I'm correct. Um, yeah. I, well, I'm, so you said, but regardless... The shaggy man is behind shaggy her. Shaggy man, yeah. The other bearded man. And he first appears in Road to Oz? Uh, I forget what's on the next slide, but I'll take a look <laughs> at it. So, could you, uh, I guess, you wouldn't guess who the other person is. Cause... I'm trying to think... You said Shaggy. Shaggy Man is one of them. That's for one sure, of them. But he's behind her. Yeah. Um, let me think now. Who would the other bearded man be? I guess the guard, the the guard, the 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 um the so, the army of Oz, the soldier of Oz. Mm, it's not Private? that. It's not that. It's another like standalone character. It's another single character. Bearded man. No, uh, the Shaggy Man's the only one that I can recall. But he's behind her. He's not flanking her. So, trick question. Oh, and the braided man. Yeah, but again, he's not next to her. That question was misleading. Oh. I demand a recount. <laughs> <laughs> well, when we watch, when we live stream Return to Oz, we will... You're trying to trick me on purpose. See for ourselves. No, I, this was a question it's someone submitted, and I thought it was really tricky. What, uh, uh, what is it? Was, uh, they're all going to... Is there so... Ah. <laughs> uh, what's your favorite? Which book of Wicked is your favorite? Definitely the first one, The Life and Times of the Wicked Witch of the West. Uh, you're late. Oh, um, Santa, we did your question. I'll go. I'll, Santa, I'm gonna scroll back and show you. Santa or Sana? I'm gonna scroll back. Sorry, it's okay. Don't worry. We're gonna. We can post these live. We can post this live later on to my YouTube channel if you would like. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, here, Sana, is oh, your, is the, your the, question. I did get this one correct. She did. It's Wash and Brush Up Co. Great question. Oh, um, Trip, Trip It, Trip It says, my engagement ring is an emerald for Wicked. Aw, sweet. I would either want an emerald or a green diamond. Noted. <laughs> Do you have the Wizard of Oz pop-up book by Robert Sabuda? I do. Um, have you ever been in a production of the Wizard of Oz? I have, multiple times. Return to Oz was featured at Disney. Can you tell us more? Well, it's a Disney movie, and they did feature it in the Electrical Parade. Unfortunately, it was not a hit, so they didn't feature it much. <laughs> oh, my gosh, it's so exciting. Uh, we did that one. Got that one. We did this one. Okay. This was the last one we did. We are on second to last question. Question 24, three tornado question. 
During Return to Oz, where Emma Ridley, these are the actors' names. I know. Right? Okay. <laughs> I've met I, Emma. She's lovely. <laughs> Emma Ridley and Feruza, Feruza, Feruza Balk. Balk jump into the river. What did Emma describe being in the river like? This comes to us from Washington Winkle. Ooh. Wink, um, winky. Well, she was not thrilled. It was very scary. She was um, a little frightened and exhilarated. I don't remember her exact phraseology. <laughs> Did I get it? Um, but she also d- told a story about the stunt devil who rolled into the river. Don't because... try to change the topic. No, but I want to tell the story the real quick. answer or not? I don't know exactly <laughs> what she Ah, <laughs> we got her. Washington. <laughs> Washington. Can I finish telling the story? Fine, fine, fine. So during an interview that actually I did with her, she um, described what happened when the stunt double did the stunt rolling into the river, and she actually cut her knee open and had to have stitches right there on the set. So she was very scared of the whole experience, but I don't know for sh- line, word for word what she said about it. So I guess I lose. Wrong. <laughs> I love it when you do your Trump voice. Like being in a hot jacuzzi. It was warm water. That's true. You got me. All right. Eyes. So we we got Tori with two questions. The third one's up for debate, but I think Tori knows better. We had asked one of the early questions was about how old the dog was, and Six. and I'm I I think I had the wrong answers, but we got Tori about a question about who was a member of the thirty nine cast who passed away most recently, and we got her with. This one, and you got that the one about the 1914 silent film half credit. It's like half credit. All right, last question What was the MGM production number for the 1939 film? I I originally gave this a three tornado difficulty, but then I found out there was a book that mentions the production production number 1060. Yeah, this is probably supposed to be like a one tornado difficulty. Production 1060 was the production number given to the Wizard of Oz. This came from Wicked Boy 137. Great and, question. Um, a, a, a good question. I thought it was a very hard question. I couldn't find the answer. Then when uh, when Wicked Boy 137 told me what the number was, and I just did a search for that, it came up with the name of a book, which I think you probably own. This I do book. own the book. Yeah. Um, and when you're listening to the recordings of when, if you listen to when they do the voiceover recordings, you will hear at the end and beginning of every take, production 1060, the Wizard of Oz, the producers oh, say, because oh. that's the production number. That's a wrap on production 1060. All right, well, uh, that's a wrap on our trivia night. We did Thank it! Thank you all for tuning in. So, did I win? <laughs> What's my prize? Uh, What's my prize? I don't know. <laughs> What should the prize be, folks? What should the prize be? I feel like it should be something pretty significant since I pretty much slayed it. Well, uh, let us know how you did in the chat if you played along with us. And do please hit the like button if you enjoyed playing along with our trivia night. Thank this you all. This was really fun. We should do this again soon. Would you guys want to do this again with Thank more trivia? Thank you for trivia? contributing questions. Your question didn't make it. What was your question? Yes, it's, ask me now. Yes, please ask the question in the chat. An emerald, somebody said an emerald ring should be my prize. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Propose. Oh my god. <laughs> That'd be something. Toto's Funko. Okay, I can I can manage that. <laughs> A Wizard of Oz Kahoot. That'd be fun. Well, if you'd like to play a again, kiss. we will. Uh, okay, I can if do I that. can't get a proposal, can I get a kiss? Mwah. Aww, we can definitely thank play you. again. Uh, what did Wicked open with before the map? What did Wicked open with before the map? I believe it was always. I believe that the map was in the original scale drawings of the stage. I'm pretty sure that it was always the map. I thought this was 100% a proposal. Not yet. <laughs> Is there a difference between Stephanie Mills' version of Home and Diana Ross's version of Home? Oh, from The Wiz? Oh, that was a question someone submitted to me, I'm, I'm not pretty sure. sure. Actually. I'm um, not sure from you, dumb, you would, I you think would have d- stumped me on that one. I think Dumb Ozzy sent me that, and I think when I read it, I... I didn't understand what the question was asking. What does that mean? There, so the song is it's a song in the movie. Oh. A song in the play. I'm actually not sure. Is there a oh. difference? You tell me. I'm actually not sure. I'm trying to think. What was the name of the continent in which Oz resides? 
the continent in which Oz resides. Oz is its own world. It's on a separate plane of existence. Okay, regarding the map, is the person says here, they kept having problems, so they went with the map. Hmm. Actually, I, you can you can read this stuff now. I don't have to. Can you? Are you? <laughs> How long enough? have we been together? Well, we've been seeing each other since what November? Um. Yeah, but only officially dating since um, February first, Chinese New Year, Year of the Tiger. My, which is my year. It's gonna be a big year for me. I was shocked to find out, but there is. It was a continent called Nunastik. Oh, yes, yes, yes. What was what book was that mentioned in? Well, this was really fun, you guys. Did you enjoy this? I did. Can we I just all give a round of applause to Nick, who put all of this together? Can we get some hearts for Nick? Thank you, Nick. This was so fun. And yes, if you guys want, I can download the whole thing and put it on. Yes, take a bow, take a curtsy. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, this was really fun. Well done, sweetheart. Well done. Just have to cool you off after <laughs> all of those intense, Everybody is giving you a applause, darling. Oh, thank you. That was really thank fun. You, thank you, thank you. And to our historian who did so well. That was so loud. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. This was so fun. Let's do this again soon. Have a great night, guys. Oh yeah, we'll play we will play the Oz game. We as as promised. We will um <laughs> We will play the Oz board game that I so terribly sliced open oh thank you for the roses i should quiz nick what she should I, quiz me about star what wars should i quiz you about i need to get the game it is at target um i don't have the next live planned yet but we'll do it soon thank you guys so much this was so fun this was really really one hi south africa thank you for joining us this evening this was so fun and uh yeah we'll definitely do this again soon thank you honey this was because so you about amazing. packs about yourself that would basically be like a wizard of oz quiz <laughs> yeah. thank you guys so so much you're amazing this was so fun you're amazing i have the best boyfriend in the known universe he is incredible thank you Love you guys. Thank you so much for playing with us. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for submitting questions. And thank questions. you for submitting all of the questions. Like, this was really, really fun.